Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions, man. Last week on Earth, man. We finna get right into it, man. All these stories happened last week on Earth. Last week. Today, Monday. That's how we recording this. We recording this. So, this Monday. So everything right here happened last week, man. We like to talk about stuff. I like to talk about stuff that um happened last week. So, here we go. Let's get right into it, man. We got to talk about the first thing that happened last week. Diddy, 1,000 bottles of baby oil. Everybody know the story about Diddy, man. Diddy, he got locked up, arrested for doing some monstrous things. He locked up. No bail. He ain't getting out. We had fun with it, man, um, last week. Um, you know, we do the little Diddy. What is this? I call this one um, Oily One Kenobi. Um, the dead little... Deadpool, just we, you know, we had fun with it, man. But yo, did it? He got locked up, man, for all the things he did. When he got locked up, he got caught with one thousand bottles of baby oil. I was trying to think, man. My wife put it in perspective. She was like, "Yo, hoarders, when they do they hoarding or them extreme couponers and stuff, they get like a hundred bottles or something, and that's a lot. You know, that's extreme." 100 bottles of baby oil is a lot. So 1,000? I was thinking like 1,000? Were they the small miniature ones? Or, or they was the, the heavy duty joints? Like that's, that's 1,000 is a lot. Nick Cannon got about 15 kids. He ain't got 1,000 bottles of baby oil. You understand? That's a lot of baby oil, man. Like, thinking about it, man, like, in all my life, I didn't live 41 years. I don't think I had a bottle of baby oil the last, that, that, that didn't last six months to a year. And I didn't had plenty of kids. And I don't think I ever ran out of like, damn, I ain't never ran out of baby oil. So what you doing? To, hey, man, I don't even want to know what you're doing. 1,000 bottles of baby oil is a lot, man. 100 is a lot. So 1,000. That's what they call out of your house, man. 1,000 bottles of baby oil. It's crazy, man. Love don't cost a thing. That's what they say, man. This is Drewski. Drewski is an internet comedian, and she is an internet model, I guess, IG model or something. The only thing I know her from being is in Bad and Bougie. I think she take a lot of photos, twerking or something, showing that, showing that, you know, showing that thing. But I said about a, two months ago, almost, you know, almost two months ago, it was alleged dating. Everybody, oh, Juicy dating Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose dating. And then nobody believed it. Everybody like, eh, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Um, Didn't nobody believe it. They were like, this has got to be a skit. He playing. They were like, no, nobody believed it, right? So everybody was like, yo, we got to see them kiss. And then they kissed. We are like, oh, I don't know. Maybe he is. They were t her down and doing all this stuff. She came out and said, look. It ain't going like y'all think it's going down, man. I ain't, me and him ain't got no dealings with each other. She said he paid for it. He paid for the um, publicity, a, a PR, public relations. He didn't pay for the, pay for the, pay for the, you know. He didn't pay for the thing, thing. But he did pay for the relationship. And I don't know how I feel about this. Like, first of all, everybody thought it was fake anyway. But I don't think I like how she going to play him like that by telling everybody that he paid for it and it was just a, publicity stunt did he not have an nda to tell that like, you can't tell it was fake i don't know i was thinking about that or like why like why would you do that you broke the rules you he paid you to keep your mouth shut my co-host prim zilly was saying it last night he like man maybe she need to get him some money back is she gonna tell the business like that she told the business if i was him i would like yes she did she did everything underneath the sun and so y'all think that y'all think I'm gonna pay her like like she got paid to play, she paid and she did kiss the boy in the mouth and all that stuff whatever, um, and she gonna come out and say she didn't do anything with him, he just paid for that just for the for the relationship. Nah man, if you gonna do me like that, I'm gonna do you like that too. I'm gonna lie and say yes, yes she did, yo. yes, bro, sure did. Mm -hmm. 
Because ain't nobody going to believe her. They'll be like, yeah, you lying. He come out, he more respectable than her. He can be like, look, yes, yeah, she did. Yes, yeah, she did. She brushed her teeth with it. I, I lie on her too. Or I lie on her. Just because she's going to try to make me look bad by saying he paid for a relationship. Which is everybody knew. Everybody knew. Everybody knew it was a play. But you broke the rules, shorty, so I lie on you. That's just me. And that's what happened last week. I don't be lying on nobody, man. But you know what I mean. He ain't for to mess me up like that, man. That happened last week on Earth. So did this. It wasn't me. That's what Shaq saying, man. Shaq saying, nope, not the kid. It wasn't me. Because this is a photo of some, um, the Latino, the thing, thing, you know. And Shaq over there, you know, hugged up with it in the picture. Or somebody hugged up with it in the picture. Some big dude. Some big old dude. And Shaq like, that wasn't me. And everybody like, hey, man, we don't know. That might not be Shaq. But she came out with this this photo right here. But not this photo. She came out with this video. And this video kind of revealing if this is really her. This is supposed to be Shaq uh, hotel room. Right? <coughs> That's her. On the, on the, Shaq on the couch. Shaq at a party. She behind the scenes. <coughs> you can see it, you know. She behind the scenes. The Shaq DJing. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think that's kind of crazy, you know. He's saying it. Nope, not the kid. And that's a big old dude. We can't really tell the Shaq. We can't really see the, the tattoos on his arm. You can see Superman and Diesel tattoos. I know I'm a Shaq fan. Um, Them feet. My wife was like, oh, no, man, it might not be Shaq feet, because Shaq got some horrific-looking feet. And these feet ain't horrific. They're some big black feet, but they ain't monstrous feet. You know, I like that word, monstrous, today, I guess. But, yo, look at this. Like I said, this video, she got the... She could have made it herself, but looking forward for an awesome show. This is hotel room stuff that she up in there with. She, like, if that's... Like, come on, man. On the couch. She behind the scenes while he performing. Like being back there, all the all like everybody up there going to see the show. She back there with him like that. You see? Look at her. I don't know, man. I don't know. So I don't know. That might be Shaq, that might not be Shaq. But one thing I want to say about this though, that was kind of weird to me, is while that was trending, I seen this trending also. It's from Golden Knight. GFX. It is like, who are your top favorite um, Lakers of all time? Not the best, just your favorite. And this is trending the same time that was. It was like, did somebody put this out to make Shaq name go up in the algorithm? So that's what you would see instead of seeing that that wasn't him. I was like, yo, this crazy. Like the powers to be, the PR people. Maybe his PR people put that out there because if you ask anybody who the top five Lakers is, you gonna say Shaq. You understand? You're going to say Kobe. You're going to say Shaq. You're going to say Magic. You're going to say LeBron probably right now. Um, Kareem. It's a lot of it's a lot of Lakers that you can pick. But in the top five, it's going to be Shaq and Kobe in there. So you want Shaq name to trend. Put his name in something that, you know, like that. And when I see the, the I, don't, I, I, I never heard of this um, person. I don't know who they is. Nothing like that. Golden Knight. Big shout out to them, whoever they is. But. He went, not viral, but he went, um, everybody was reposting that with Kobe Shaq. Da, 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 da. So the algorithm going to see Shaq's name. I was like, yo, this is crazy. I said, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm witness. Like, I just noticed that with my eyes. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. So Shaq really trending for this, but they got his name trending for this. Also, like you can put, um, Shaq. Who else? Who else? Like, but Shaq, Patrick Ewing, and shit, Manute Bow in the group and say who the best, who the best center, and everybody gonna say Shaq, so his name gonna trend. Like that's what I'm saying. When I seen that, I was like, yo, the world crazy, man. I don't know, man. That's what happened last week, though, man. Let's get off this subject, man. I love Shaq, man, but when I seen that, I was like, yeah, that was you, Shaq. That was your big ass doing that with that little that little person. That was you. And your name trending at the same time as this is like they trying to avert the eyes, they trying to combat that. It was like, I see the play, I see the play. That's just me, man. I'm conspiracy brother. All right, 
It happened last week on Earth. This also happened last week on Earth. I think you got to go back to hustling that monkey. First, I'm talking about is Brittany Renner. Brittany Renner, she um changed her lifestyle, man. She um, who I know her from is um, she's PJ Washington's baby mama. Deion Sanders brought her to Jacksonville State University when he was the head coach out there to show his players that women like her are thriving. They setting up the um the young black male, the young athlete. Like they waiting on them. They know how much money they make before before they do damn near. And they like I thought that was pretty dope for Deion Sanders to have her come out there to the school to show them that they be you know, they out to get people. He wanted to let his players know, like, look, you see her? Pretty young lady. Look at her. She bad. You know? And she came out to the table, like, look, yo, we out here to get y'all. We gonna get y'all early, too. And that's what she did. She got her a little a, a, a basketball player and stuff like that. I thought it was pretty dope, but that ain't the subject. That ain't what I'm talking about. She done went to um, Muslim she did converted over to Islam and whatever like that. And now she says she broke because she ain't out here showing that thing no more. She ain't out here twerking and whatever she doing for the likes and for the gram and all that stuff. She ain't doing that no more. She said she broke, you know. Well, she ain't getting paper like she, she ain't broke, but she ain't getting money like she used to. She used to making this amount of money, but now since she not doing that, she not getting that. She got a little child support from her baby daddy, PJ Washington. Um, But go back to hustling that monkey. That's what I say. If you... If you think that your religion is holding you back, which everybody think is fake in the first place, don't nobody think that she really did. Cause she did it after Ramadan. She did it at different times. Like, like, come on, man. You gonna do it after Ramadan? Like, you waited like the day after Ramadan to start? Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna be Muslim. I don't know. That happened last week on Earth, though. Go back to hustling that monkey. That's all I can say for you. Beer goggles. Literally. Scientists say that mosquitoes are attracted to people. people who drank alcohol. Um, we were talking about this last night. I mean, last week. I keep saying last night. Mm. We were talking about this last week. And um, they were saying in the chat. Who said? Um, Gorilla Strong. He said in, in the chat. Oh, who's the ghetto guy? Somebody in the chat, man. We, we watching the show. Very smart people to watch our show. Our program. But they were saying that it's your body heat. They're attracted to your body heat, too. It's like you drinking and stuff. And your body heat rises. And... The sweat and all that stuff, and mosquitoes are attracted to you. So, yo, mosquitoes really got beer goggles because that's what happened. You out there drinking and stuff outside, and mosquitoes nyang, nyang, bat, tapping your damn neck because they out here getting you, man. So, that's what I learned last week on Earth. Walkie talkie kaboomy, sensitive situation, man. But, yo, I think it's called Hezbollah, something like that, man. They, hey. They didn't declare war over there, man. They got walkie-talkies is blowing up, man. Walkie-talkies and pages and devices blowing up, man. Um, I don't know. But did I say the name right? Hezbollah. Hezbollah is over in Israel, I believe it is. I don't really know the details on this. I try to stay away from stuff like this. But, yo, y'all be careful, man. <clears throat> walkie-talkie kaboomy. That's why I don't do cell phones and all this stuff. I don't really like electronics, man. The device that can track you everywhere and every thing you say and do because i don't own a cell phone never have it's crazy that i don't own a facebook cell phone instagram all i do is like twitter and a little bit of tiktok <clears throat> I try to stay off i don't own a cell phone i don't do the cell phone thing i'm not gonna walk around with a damn device on me that's tracking my every move <clears throat> bad enough it's tracking me right beside my wife if i'm sitting beside her we talking about something Next thing you know, she started getting ads. I'm like, oh, Lord. I don't even want to talk around your phone. I don't like talking around people's phone, man. I, it's crazy, man. So, these devices, man. I don't know what they can do to y'all, man. Y'all be careful. They said they're giving out cancer anyway. The way the world works, man, I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I, I'm an outsider looking in on the world, man. I go out in public, man. I see people, everybody head down. Everybody head down. They going to... People growing up with a damn curve in their neck now, man. I'm telling you, I watch this stuff, man. A lot of things I notice about cell phones also, man, is people, everybody use their cell phone when they drive. Everybody. I, I'm talking about everybody. I'm looking like, God damn, everybody using their cell phone. <clears throat> you can be a line at McDonald's. You can see a space this wide. Like, come on, man, move up, cut, move up. They're not moving up because what they doing? They're on their cell phone. It's like, y'all can, if you move up and you move up, 
I can order my food now. Now I, I gotta wait until you move because your car ain't move. It's like, man, it's a lot of stuff like that that's getting on my nerves, man. I don't like people because the cell phones is one of the main reasons. Everybody looking down, you be like, damn, cuz. You... If I didn't stop my car, I would hit you. Look up. Get out your cell phone, man. Mm. Dying over beef. This literally happened, man. Dude literally died over beef. R.I.P. to this dude, man. I don't know his name. Don't know nothing about him. I just know he died over beef. He was trying to separate some damn frozen um, hamburger patties <clears throat> with a knife. When he was separating them, it must have slipped out, did something wrong. And it got itself, man. Hit an artery or something. I don't know if it was stomach, leg, thigh, neck. I don't know where he hit it at. I just know it. Hey, he dying over beef, man. R.I.P. to this dude. I can I can see this happening because um I didn't had those type of frozen patties before you know and I didn't try to break them open with a knife and stuff and yeah that's crazy that's wild man that is wild I got a scar on my leg when I was um shit that happened probably when I was about eight years old like a little 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 dot I was trying to um get the inner tube out of my tire and it popped out like, oh cut my leg it was very small. So, yo, y'all be careful out here, man. Um, you could have put it in the microwave, thawed it out. That's what we said on the show last week. Then you could have thawed it out a little bit, 20 seconds. I think that was the number. Um, my wife, Charlene, she said that she have taken it, taken like it's in the bag and actually slammed it on the ground. And it, you know. So, yo, the RP to him, man. That happened last week. <clears throat> We're going to need a bigger mop. I don't know, man. This woman right here, well, this 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 the story. The lady, she wouldn't have had a baby on her best friend's couch. Her best friend say, look, I'm going to need to get that paper up out of you, player. I'm going to need some money up out of that, man. You ruined my couch. And it was a, it was a, a little difference between co-hosts. My wife, she was like, she just had a baby. Like, her best friend should be considerate of her having a baby and... Maybe she ain't got the, the the means for the money and all this stuff, and maybe she don't need to pay it. My cousin Primzilla, he was like, maybe she got mad at her, and that's why she want the payment. Because it, it, it sounds like some bigger, like, oh, matter of fact, bitch, you had a baby on my couch. Let me, I'm thinking you automatically got to pay for it. Like, yo, you came over to my house and had a baby on my on my couch. I can't just flip the cushion over. I'm gonna need. We gonna need something. Man. We gonna need a mop to clean this up. We gonna, you should. The lady who had the baby, like, I'm sorry, girl. I done had a little placenta juice on your couch. Um, let me throw you a couple of dollars. I'm sorry. She should have offered. You understand? I shouldn't have to sue nobody. I, I'd have been like, yo, you know, it's, I'd have told my wife and like, yo, it's been like two months, yo, and she ain't really dressed nothing about having that baby on my couch. What you mean? Um, that was a nice couch, and she had a baby on it. We didn't get the cleaning bill or nothing like. Um, uh, I don't want to sue. I'd have sued too. I'd have sued. I'd have asked first. I'm like, yo, yo, what's up? Hey, hey, you remember like last month you had that baby on my couch, yo? I don't mean do this, man, but yo, I'm had to get some money about you, player. I don't know, man. People gotta. And that's and that makes me think like what my cousin said. He was like, "Yo, maybe they had a falling out." And she was like, "Bitch, you had a baby on my couch. Give me some money." So I don't know. And my wife thinking she just had a baby. She, <laughs> they all motherly and she, <laughs> no, you got to pay for that, yo. There's a lot of argument going on last night on the show too. Well, last week, <clears throat> low motive, locomotive. These females right here, man, I don't know how they did it, but they got caught stealing a subway train. Literally, a subway train, a train in the subway. And these chicks was, um, along with two other people, I believe it was, they got caught joyriding. Like, how you steal a train? How you know how to operate a train? I do not know that. I don't know how to operate a train. Is it that easy? Or was the man bullshitting that let the train... Get stolen? What was you on lunch break? What was you doing? You left the keys in there. Do it start up with keys? Is the operate? How many buttons do it take to 
start it, move it, stop it. Like, how do you know? I don't know none of this, man. And these, I ain't saying these the smartest people in the world. I ain't saying they're the dumbest people in the world. I don't know, man. But these don't look like they can drive a damn train. They did. But I don't believe they... I don't know, man. Or well, maybe two other people did it. The other people did it. They was with them. They said it was like four people. They the one got caught on camera. Locomotive. Mm. What was y'all motive? What y'all thought y'all was doing? I don't know. That happened last week on Earth. <laughs> I got dogs in Atlanta. Credit cards with a skimmer. Plug a six. Pender. Where the six? Pender. Y'all seen this, man. This is a zoo in China. Then took this dog, man, and spray painted it like a panda. And they, they getting sued for this. Not, I don't know if they getting sued. They getting reprimanded. They getting in trouble. Something happened, but it made the news that they taking these dogs and spray painting them to look like panda bears, and they scamming people to come out there to see them, man. I got dogs in Atlanta, so that's not a dog. I mean, they don't. It's not Atlanta, but they did take a dog. What is that? A child? They didn't spray painted this child or dyed this color. Like, yo, it's cute, man, but don't be doing these dogs like that, man. It ain't animal tested. Mm -hmm. Whoa, the creepy crawler. I know y'all heard about this. This happened last week, man. This dude right here in jail, he didn't crawl over and took something from a female. These in, he in jail. Um, What was this dude antennas at, man? This dude laid on the ground and crawled all the way over to a female and had his way with her, yo, in jail. Um, I thought he was attempting to do it, but my co-host Trimzilla, he knew the story. He was like, yo, he did take it. He did take that, take that. Um, he said that it, she had a, a fat ass and he just had to get it. Like, you, I don't know what you in jail for, but you in jail, you was like, I, crazy story. But he crawled over to get it, man. He creep. I call him the creepy crawler. That is wild. That happened last week on Earth. Don't take life for granted. Literally. Mm, mm, mm. Sad story. Couple vacationing over in um, Naples. Nepal. Naples. I think it was Naples. Ain't that where Balky from? Um, um, Balky Bartholomew from Naples. I don't know, man. I'm getting off the subject. But this happened, man. They, they on their vacation, man. And, um, in Naples. And the damn statue fell off and hit a woman in the head and killed her, man. On vacation. That's a sad story, man. I, I cannot find what the statue looked like at first. This is a piece of it. Of the statue. I wanted to see what it was at first. Um, I don't know how big this is. It's kind of, I don't know. It's big enough to hit a person in the damn head and die. So, all right, Pete, to this woman and this couple, man, on vacation. Me, I was saying that if a woman, she was trying to lead, that's what happened to her. She was, you see her in the front, she was trying to lead. Let that man walk in front of you. It would have been him. Nah, I'm playing. But all right, Pete, to this woman, man. That's just, that's what I said, take life for granted. Literally granted, because stone, granite statue, I don't know. Try to make light of the situations, man, but... I repeat to these people, man, to these people, this couple. I don't know if they got family, wife, and all. The, I mean, children at home, but they went on vacation and came back with one of them. What happened? I'll be like, hey, man, where you going? You going to that town with my sister? You only one that came back? What happened? A rock fell on their head. Oh, man, what you do? You push off the boat? Nah, it's literally a rock. Get in the air, yeah. On vacation. I think it looked like they were leaving. Probably going to the next hotel. So they had their bags packed. Oh, don't tell me this is the beginning of their vacation. Either it's the beginning or the end. But it, oh, that's crazy, man. I repeat it them. Oh, this was a very, very controversial subject right here. The LOL surprise versus the OMG girls. This was the argument came in last night between me and my wife. She did not want to understand my point of the conversation of this. The LOL surprise doll. These are, um, this is Tiny from Escape. And her husband, T.I., his stepdaughter is a group called the OMG Girls. And they are suing the LOL Surprise Dolls because they said they stole their looks. And they, um, what you call it? You know, they, you know, they look. And you look at this, I look at this as like, okay, maybe they did steal they look, whatever. Maybe they didn't. And my wife, she was like, nah, this is basic. This is a basic look. Anybody can have this look. 
Anybody can have this look. But I did the research, and she did not want to listen to my research, what I said about it. LOL, I'm going to explain it to y'all, see if y'all get it, see if I'm wrong, and she right, or I know I'm right, but you understand what I'm saying. LOL dolls, LOL surprise had these dolls, right? We'll say they came out in 1999. Then the OMG girls come out in 2000. Wearing these outfits, right? Wearing these outfits. Or wearing these colorways or whatever in 2000. So, 2001, LOL Surprise come out with LOL Surprise OMG dolls with these same looks. Can they sue? That's what I'm saying. They, not that... Not that they, they they taking a basic look. They I don't know, man. My wife, she said that word basic. Like, that's just a basic look. They can do that. Anybody can have that look. It's like, it's not that it's a basic look because a lot of people do dye their hair in two different sides of colors like that. They do. These are examples. You see the white shirt, the white. The, the, look at this. Like, come on. It, it, it's, it's some semblance of it. And I was trying to explain to her, like, Yes, it is a basic look in a basic style, but they came out with the basic style and sold the dolls named OMG Dolls. She, she, I don't know. She did not want to understand this. She played, she didn't play stupid. I, don't, I ain't gonna call her stupid. She just didn't want to listen. She didn't want to be wrong about the situation. I said, I don't understand why she couldn't see the way I'm seeing it. Like. She said, OMG is not theirs. I said, no, there's not theirs. OMG me. Oh, my God. But the name of that group is called OMG Girls. They came out with some dolls called OMG Dolls. After the fact that they came out with OMG Girls. Oh, and had them looking like they looked. Um, She did not want to understand that. I'm like, okay. I said, so what if somebody came out? I got on a red shirt and a blue hat right now. I said, what if somebody came out with a red shirt and a blue hat and... You see all my videos. I say, what up, though? Heist man, the foe. Talk that talk. Get on news and opinions. Man. I said, what if somebody came out with a red shirt and a blue hat and said, what's up? What's up, yo? Still a, still a boy, the bro. Speak that speak. Get on news and observations. Boy. I said, would that be the same thing as infringing on me copyright? She was like, no, because a lot of people wear red shirts and blue. I said, God damn it. I, I lost. I, I damn near lost it. Then I was like, "You just don't want to give me." Uh, you don't like. You understand what I'm saying? I, I, am I wrong? Hold on, let me fix my camera. Oop. Am I wrong to think that, or is they wrong to think that they are getting copyright infringed on? Because, like I said, they came out. with well, their company is um, called LOL Surprise, and they did not have these colorways of these girls. Like they didn't have a. A, a black and pink half head. They did not have a green head doll. They did not have a purple head doll. They did not have a doll with this white suit on. But then the next year after OMG girls come out, they come out with dolls called OMG dolls with the black and white. I mean, the pink and black, the green, the purple, the white suit. And she just, she was like, nope. I just don't think my wife, she do, um, she have a disdain for Tiny and T.I. for what they did, you know, accused them in doing. That plays a part in it. And, um, that's what I think. But I'm saying that, yes, that is a basic look. Yes, like, that's a lot of people have dyed their hair that color, but they did not sell those colorways. That's all I was trying to explain to her. They did not sell a black and white pink, um, a black girl pink and white doll, or black and pink hair doll before the OMG girls came. And they named their shit OMG dolls. After, like, they do have a case. I'm trying to explain to her, like, it's similarities, even though it's simple. Anybody can do this. But they didn't start doing it until then. And it was like a, not an argument, but it was combativeness between me and my wife last night the, or last week, the co-host. Because I'm looking like, yo, you cannot be that goddamn dumb to not understand this. Maybe she is, man. Mm -hmm. This is crazy to me. So do y'all think the OMG dolls have a case? Like I said, the timeline. They come out with LOL Surprise in 1999. They come out with OMG Girls in 2000. They come out with LOL Surprise OMG Girls in 2001. They look like the OMG Girls with the same shit they wear. Yes, they have a case. She just can't understand that. I don't understand, but she can't understand it. She crazy. But that happened last week on Earth. Luncheon Hunch. 
What's up, boy? It's my son. He coming in to check on his mama. She's not in here. Lunch and hunch. Vladimir Putin, he want his damn um, co-workers to have sex during work breaks to um, help their population. Their population numbers are dwindling down there. And um, he wants you on, on lunch break. Look, we losing people, man. I need y'all to go on lunch break, smash something, get back in the game, man. We, we need some population, man. That's kind of crazy, man. Lunch and hunch. That's crazy. So, we got to do what you make, though. So, <laughs> y'all can't be out here hunching the world, man. Anyway, that's the stories. But that was the biggest story, though. Was the damn OMG, dog. This one, this the one I'm glad I'm by myself doing and, and speaking so I can get my words out. Because when I'm with my, like, that's what I do this for. Um, last week on Earth is like I can I can talk about it with my peoples. But I want to talk about it by myself. To just give it all to you the way I want. Ugh, pause. The, the, you know. Because now I don't, you don't have to agree with me. I don't, I don't want nobody to agree with me. But don't be stupid, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard not to. It's hard doing a damn show with my wife because you can't really argue with it. It'd be like, anybody else out there, man, shut the fuck up, man. You just fucking dumb. You can't just tell her that. You can't tell your, your mate that. So that's why it's very hard. Doing a damn show with my damn wife. And I can't dismiss her. I can dismiss anybody else. I'm talking to anybody else. I'm like, man, shut the fuck up, nigga. You stupid. Shut up, Nick. What dumb ass out of here. I can't do that with her. Sorry. That's why I, that's why I like doing this by myself. So I can I can say everything I want to say and can't nobody combat it. Cause I don't want like I said, you don't have to agree with me. You just can't disagree with me. Nah, I'm playing. Y'all know what I mean, though, man. I was right. I'm dead ass right on this situation. And if you look at it and see it my way, you right, too. You don't see it my way, you wrong. Just like she is. She wrong. Anyway, we're live on the channel every Friday night at 9 p.m. These stories right here, what I'm talking about now, we had them Friday. Last week on Earth. But that's what I'm saying. You want to get the, the, the conversations and... You can join in on the conversation on Friday nights at 9 p.m. And right here on this channel because I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. With Menace to the Future. Because that's what I am. I'm a Menace to the Future. But in the meantime, man, hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimple that I'm putting out when I put it out. Like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and let me know how you feel about the future. This was last week on Earth. Holla at your boy. Heist man the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. This is a dangerous group. Is it groups that we're dealing with now? All right. This time. But I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality. I'll be there.